Tommy Coletti. We're here at the Music Zoo today with the Charvel Natural Series. So this is a, a long story, long sorted story with the Charvel Natural Series and the Music Zoo. We actually started building these around 15 years ago. And the mindset was, as a Charvel player from like the 80s uh, and guitar teacher, and most of my students had Charvels or some kind of shredder guitar, one of the things that uh, I used to notice back in the day was some of those early Charvels, especially the pre-pros, came with no finish, right? It was just a plain mahogany body, oiled finish, or maybe not even oiled. Uh, maple fingerboard, maple neck, done. NOS bridge. Uh, and they were rock machines. They were wonderful. They kind of took the next step from a guitar like a Les Paul Jr., which was a one pickup go. And obviously, like, Credence to Eddie Van Halen for like, the one pickup model. Uh, and they, would, they were, were and are great rock guitars. So you fast forward now, like between the time that Charvel and Jackson were independently owned and then Fender had purchased Charvel. And in the early days, the guys at Fender kind of were still getting like their sea legs with Charvel and didn't really, didn't really know where to go. The story I heard was that Jackson actually was the purchase that Fender made and then Charvel they kind of threw in for free for the deal. So Charvel had kind of like, they hadn't figured out exactly where to go. And at some point they made an anniversary guitar and I remember getting the anniversary guitar, which was a great guitar. And I was just like, well, this is an anniversary guitar, but it's way different than what the original Charvels were. And I called my friends at Fender and said, hey, would you like to sit down and talk about, like, I know these guitars uh, passionately. I spent so much time with them. I would love to talk to you about, like, the little things that make these really important. So now we got to go back 15 years ago. Charvel was just making pointy headstock guitars. And one of the things that I had told Fender, I was just like, we need the Strat headstock. It has to happen, you know, like, so after begging and pleading, they actually allowed us to put the Strat headstock on this guitar. And I would think we were the first dealers to re to resurrect the Strat headstock on a Charvel. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty proud of that, you know, like moment, because I feel like I pushed for that. And now it's such a staple in everything that's going on Charvel, because uh, it's recognizable to as a fan of Warren D. Martini or Jakey e. Lee or so many of the 80s guitar players that played a Charvel Eddie Van Halen who played a, a Charvel style guitar or a Charvel guitar with the, with the Strat headstock. It was so important just from a look perspective, right? So now some other things that I had noticed back from that anniversary guitar is that the inlays, I believe they were abalone, which I don't, I don't remember Charvel ever using abalone. So that was one of the things I pointed out and we talked about phenolic nuts and neck shape and I have a couple of old, old 80s, one pre-pro and uh, an older, early Charvel, which I brought out with me and sat down with Mike Shannon and Chip Ellis, and we, we studied these guitars and just like, okay, you guys are obviously close. You're Charvel now, right? You're making these guitars. But here's the little idiosyncrasies about this guitar that's kind of missed along the way. Uh, and we, we jumped into it, like, <laughs> head first. And the first guitar that we did was a Natural Series. So now what is the Natural Series? The Natural Series is just an oil finished guitar. No crazy paint job, no, no <laughs> bullseyes or anything that a lot of the Charvel guitars are known for. And the reason was we want to let the guitar vibrate. We want the wood to breathe and to, the guitar to resonate. It's almost pulling from somebody like a Nuno Betancourt who like has that same philosophy, I think. And there's a lot as you go through, certainly me as a guitar player and just so many instruments that come into the store. When you get a guitar that's just like ready to go like this, no pain, it's really simple and stuff. Those simple guitars really make a statement. So with that said, we ran with it. and. The, the original bodies were mahogany, and then we did. We started building them in koa, which this, is, this guitar is a koa guitar. Uh, we built them in pine, in different spalted woods, I believe. We did redwood guitars. We did redwood guitars that actually had like holes in it, like where somebody sh looked like they shot like bullet holes into it. We experimented with so many things. And then, also, early on in the mid-2000s, a guy by the name of Mike Kotzen who worked for Charvel, now works for Fender, it's all the same family. Had, I had met him at a NAMM show, we were friends already, and out of a duffel bag, he pulls this piece of wood. Okay, what is it? He goes, smell it. I'm smelling the wood, and I'm like, okay, I don't get it. He goes, that's maple. And it was dark brown, it was way darker than this koa body. And he said, 
this is one of our wood suppliers came up and said we're do we're making roasted woods it's usually used for furniture but i thought that somebody like you who's kind of like building all these charvels and is really experimenting with woods i thought you'd like something like this and you'd like to see it so we immediately started with the roasted woods we started making roasted bodies and then later roasted um. necks so the charvel has and it was a hot rod guitar in the 70s and 80s and it's still a hot rod guitar today and was sort of a platform for experimenting and that's what's so cool about it and i still love them to death i'm i'm proud to be a, a sponsor and you know like an ambassador for the brand because i think they're so cool um all of my heroes play them so i think that's even just another added thing and immediately you just plug it in you go and they're awesome you can order these guitars in different iterations and we're constantly getting them in stock uh floyd rose original brass bridge uh hum single single hum and single we have over here we have a, a, a double humbucker we've done them in the original stages were just one hums like the original guitars back in the day and they're fantastic they're so fun to play the necks are great on them the shoulders and the neck are really rolled and part of like that original Charvel thing. And, and they're fantastic. Um, it's surprising that we have this Koa guitar here because actually Koa is really, it's hard to come by these days in thick pieces. You could get Koa veneers to make, to make uh, acoustic guitars and things like that, but the thick, thick pieces of Koa to make like a full Koa body are becoming harder to come by um, and more and more expensive. Uh, but this one's beautiful, and it shows off that koa, which is which is similar to mahogany. Maybe it's a more exciting grain from Hawaii. Um, we love them. If you haven't tried one after all these years of us selling these things, and you're just finding out about it, this is the next step. And one last thing too: these are custom shop guitars. These are hand built guitars. Uh, and and the original idea was to be able to offer this hand built guitar to to our customers you know just like the old days just and a lot of the people at fender had kind of moved over from charvel so todd kraus mike shannon stephen stern and the list kind of goes on of like all the original people at charvel mike eldred was another one uh, i'm sure i'm forgetting some of the really important guys but they're still being built by these guys too which is fantastic follow us on all our social channels at the music zoo watch us on youtube subscribe to us and visit us at the Music Zoo any chance you get. Thanks for watching.